we, we thought jointly as uh, the instructors of this workshop, we always want to keep it modern. And uh, this topic that I'll be talking about today on deep learning is one of the most modern, most relevant, and most timely techniques that you see in computational science today. It's being used increasingly in music information retrieval. Adoption is growing uh, steadily, and we expect to see more papers and more uh, researchers use this technique more uh, in the coming years. Use several resources uh, for this presentation. One of them is an excellent tutorial at ufldl.stanford.edu, unsupervised feature learning and deep learning. Stanford.edu. Uh, it's authored by a professor here, computer science, Andrew Ng, who's uh, become quite famous actually for using this method and publishing a lot of cool papers about it. Uh, one of those YouTube links is of him speaking at a Google Tech Talk. And the other YouTube link is uh, of another gentleman, Jeff Hinton, whom we'll talk about later, also giving a presentation. So let's begin with a basic understanding of this concept called deep learning. Have you guys heard of this term before? Maybe in your, somewhere on the internet, somewhere in techcrunch.com, or maybe if you read machine learning blogs, you've, you've heard of this term. Um, only in recent years, really. What is deep learning? It is, uh, according to ICASP 2012, which had a, tu uh, a dedicated tutorial on deep learning, and ICASP, a signal processing conference, you know, if a signal processing conference as entrenched and established and almost old school as ICASP is doing deep learning, you know it has infiltrated a large part of the public. According to that website, it is a class of machine learning techniques developed mainly since 2006 where many layers of nonlinear information processing stages or hierarchical architectures are exploited. It has recently been applied to many signal processing areas such as image, video, audio, speech, and text and has produced surprisingly good results. And these have been used in many different applications. Technology companies are reporting startling gains in fields as diverse as computer vision, speech recognition, and the identification of promising new molecules for designing drugs. Has already been put to use in services like Apple Siri Virtual Personal Assistant, which is based on nuanced communication speech recognition service, and in Google Street View, which uses machine vision to identify specific addresses, says the New York Times. You know, we, we talk about academic uses of a lot of these algorithms. Uh, you know, research quality, prototype quality code. Well, in recent years, you've, we've started to see uh, this technique make it into industry and the real world. Uh, that New York Times article, which you see here, the, okay, it's the New York Times covering an article in the science section with a title that involves the concept of deep learning. Uh, the gentleman you see on stage is from Microsoft and he's giving a demonstration of their voice recognition program. Microsoft is actually among the tech companies near the top, if not the top, of speech recognition. They do a lot of work in speech recognition. And uh, they uh, are using this technique as well. 